Hey guys, we're well, David DeFranco here from DeFranco.com with a very exciting unboxing. This should be the new iPod Touch. Oh yeah, baby. I am so excited because as you probably know, I cannot get an iPhone 5 right now because, well, one, I don't feel like selling my 4S because I do keep all my iPhones. And I'm going to wait until May. So, that's when I'm due for an upgrade. But... I guess I'll technically wait until October and get the iPhone 5S or whatever it's going to be called. So, I did the next best thing and got myself the iPod Touch because I really, really, really want to experience the 4-inch screen. The front-facing camera, I mean, actually HD camera. And I mean, it's just going to be great. And this could really help out my videos, um, especially for vlogging. So, or my mobile channel over at YouTube.com slash the creative on mobile. So, here we go. Let's open this up. I did order this from Amazon because I was afraid of it taking a couple weeks from Apple. Um, but I still had to wait a few days, but that's okay. It's only been a week since it came out. Here it is. I did once again go for the white model because my previous iPod Touch, which by the way I sold um, a week or two ago on eBay and I got most of my money back for it. I just put that money towards this one so I get an extra row of icons, better display, better camera, better overall. And this is a huge huge upgrade for the iPod Touch. I cannot stress that enough, guys. I mean, I'm like still surprised at how much awesome stuff they packed into this. It's just, it's just an awesome product. All right, opening up the plastic. I believe you have to take off the label first, right? Well, there's that. Very cool. Check that out. Ripping this off. I don't want to break anything. There you go. I'm ripping the display off. Look at that. World's thinnest display. And put that over there. I believe. Press that. And this should come right out. And I just turned it on my accident. Oh my god. Such a different feeling, guys. Look at this. This is incredible. Such a different look than the last iPod Touch because of this. Check it out. Check that out. No more reflective back, getting scratches, smudges all over the place. This is awesome. Also, if you look closely, the camera is pretty big. Interestingly enough, it's not completely flush with the case design, but that's not really a huge deal, just something I noticed. Built-in LED, which is awesome. That's where the Wi-Fi antenna is, I believe, since it passes, you know, that way it passes through the metal casing. Oh my God, and back here, we have the loop. So I'm trying to get all this in frame. Check that out. Now, I gotta say, the loop does seem like a gimmicky feature, but it does make sense if you, if you really think about it because the main demographic Apple's going after with the iPod Touch is typically the younger crowd, those who can't afford an iPhone contract. So this is kind of like a pre-iPhone device, so you can put the loop around your wrist. And, you know, since kids are always playing games, I mean, hey, I play games, I love them. Um, that way it's a less risk of dropping it, basically. A little hello manual. Of course, you do get little Apple stickers. How cute. I do get my first lightning cable ever. This is awesome. I'll get to you later, Kristen. Lightning, guys. Lightning, lightning, lightning. So goodbye, 30-pin connector. I'm really, really excited about actually having a lightning connector uh, cable because, again, I can't get the iPhone 5, so I kind of felt left out. Next, we have... How do I... Oh, here we go. It's pretty cool how they packaged it in here. This is the loop. So, to put this on, you just press that and it pops out ever so slightly, but just enough. And there you go. Very cool. So now, in theory, I can do this and not drop it. Um, I'm a little scared doing that since I just bought this thing. So let's just take that off for now. Put that back in there. It's a pretty cool design. Oh, by the way, the bottom, check it out. Guys, look how thin this thing is. It's super thin. And now we do have the headphones jack on the bottom. Now last, but certainly not least, I'm really excited about this, the ear pods. I can finally, finally try these out because I was really excited when I saw that Apple announce these. Now these aren't the normal ear pods that come with the built-in microphone I believe because as, as you can see they don't come in an actual carrying case like they do with the iPhone 5 but 
Honestly, that's not a huge deal because I don't know how often I'm going to use these. Oh, to open it, you just pull that out. It's pretty cool. Because I got to say, I freaking love Apple and their packaging. They're very, very smart. Look at that. How, how cool is that? Here we go. Nice close up of one of the ear pods. There's the right channel and the left channel. Very interesting design. I really cannot wait to try these out. Again, I don't know how often I'm going to use these because I don't really typically listen to my headphones. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't listen to headphones in general that much. I'm typically in front of my computer listening to Pandora or playing music via AirPlay Pandora to my Apple TV in my, in my living room via surround sound, which is obviously much better. But still, I'm really excited to try those out. Again, I'm really excited about having a lightning cable. And it's, it's you know, guys, it's, it's the little things that excite me. But anyway, going back to the iPod Touch, look at this design. It's oddly thin, yet very well built. So before we go, and yes, I realize I'm nerdgasming nerd all over the place. Let's take the iPhone 4S and the new iPod Touch, put them next to each other. And yes, of course, the new iPod Touch is significantly thinner. Well, I shouldn't say significantly, but it's noticeably thinner. And it's obviously taller because it has the nice four inch display versus this three and a half inch display. And I cannot wait to try out the FaceTime camera, so look for a test video on my primary channel, the one you're watching right now. But besides that, guys, also check out my mobile channel because I promise you I will pay more attention to that channel now that I can do HD while seeing myself. It's just so much easier when you can actually see yourself on the screen while recording. So go to youtube.com slash the creative on mobile. Link is right below for your convenience. Click that. Subscribe. I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm going to go nerdgasm all over this thing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.